All right, here we go. I'm recording again another uh, testy type of a thing. I forgot to do some cavalry. So I don't know if you guys remember, but you're actually, uh, what you're viewing is uh, my camcorder um, recording what it's seeing off my television screen. So that's what you're getting, which is, uh, I think it's pretty impressive considering, I mean, it's, you know, how many levels of Lord knows what's going on. Anyways, I'll try to see if I can do this. Um, yeah, like I said, it's more of uh, practice is whatever. And it seems this one should be um, a small amount because it's only one combat. It's going to be against the, uh, the cavalry here. Um, I forgot to finish up some of the Ninth uh, Army movements uh, here. And you'll, well, you'll see. I'll uh, see if I can figure out which one I need to grab. There we go. So this is the spot yeah, that we're uh, looking at. This is just a picture I took and then I just popped it in a paintbrush and then the same thing over here I just popped in so you guys could see like the blown up spot. So here's the before shot and um, that's where the, this is the 9th Cavalry Division. Hold on, I'll grab all my, uh, all my notes. So yeah, this, uh, there is, uh, so I'll sh explain the move, well, I won't, will I do the movements? Well, I'll just show you the, the, the move of uh, where they ended up going to. Um, and then uh, I'll discuss, but then we'll just get right into the combat. I think that's more of what I wanted to do uh, than anything. If you look, okay, so here's the few things to, to we have to consider now because it's 01 November. Uh, cavalry uh, now have to start worrying about supply. It's no longer uh, the summertime. Um, stuff and uh, basically the entire game that I've been playing where cavalry have not had to worry about supply uh, just being uh, surrounded that's really about it they just had to worry about you know uh, zones of control and and, and whatnot uh, but now that it's 01 November and I'm going to read out the rules uh, section 34 so that way uh, you guys can get it and also I can get it hammered into my head because um, it doesn't come up well it's the first time it's come up for me so um, 34. If cavalry units cannot trace a line of supply of no more than eight movement points from a friendly active rail line, port, or headquarters during the months of November to June inclusive, their combat strength is reduced by one point for each extra movement point in the length of the traced supply line and have their movement allowance reduced to four five for Germany and Great Britain. Uh, cavalry units with a strength of zero per this rule would be removed from the map during the monthly, monthly trench construction phase. The horses have died off, uh, uh, Dave Schroeder says. So in this one, the 9th Ca uh, German Cavalry Division over here, uh, these guys right here, right near R Radom, and so on and so forth. And you can see they can, if before the movement here, they can trace, uh, just make eight spots as far as I can see. So they have to get out of the zone of control. So that costs costs them, I do believe, I'll have to check again if zones of control do not uh, count for movement points. I think it is. I think it's not. Hold on, let's uh, check. Might as well. That's what, it's here. That's what I'm here for. Let's find out the rules. Okay, hold on here. Yeah, I can't remember if it was, uh, you don't... You don't, uh, I think, it, yeah, I don't think you do, <clears throat> but you can't trace a line of supply through an enemy zone of control that doesn't have a friendly unit, as far as I can, as far as I remember. Uh, let's hold on. Um, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Retreat, headquarters, supply points, supply. There must be a supply line between the headquarters expending the supply point. Yep. Supply line is a path of connected hexes from the a hex occupied by the unit to be supplied to the hex occupied by the headquarters that expends the supply points. Mm -hmm. A supply line may not be, this is 197, a supply line may not be traced into any hex that is occupied by an enemy unit or is in an enemy zone of control and not occupied by a friendly ground combat unit. A, a supply line may not be traced across sea, lake, or alpine hex sites. 
19.8, the length of a supply line is calculated in terms of the movement points it would take to move along the supply line by normal movement and you do not count the enemy zone of control costs. Okay, cool. So if that's the case, they're, they're fine then. So as you can see, it would have been like 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6. They're in. They're in. 8. They're fine. However, um, they're not going to be fine now, as you're going to see. If I can... Hold on. Um, get to the... So they're not now, if you can see here, I've uh, popped them up. And I'll switch cameras. This USB thing's having a conniption fit with three cameras, uh, the camera app anyways. Uh, it doesn't seem to like this one when I get, I'm like, oh, don't do that to me, man. So I actually did take another picture just in case I need to go there and we can chit chat about it. And I, and I, you know, it never gets to that point to recycle. We'll see, but I'll get back to the camera and then we can go to a close up. I hope. There we go. So now we can see the close-up. So I've moved uh, a bunch of units over, so I've more or less trapped them. And this guy here, number 41, that's the 14th, uh, the Russian 14th Cavalry Division, I do believe. I'll go over them quickly, because we're doing this combat, I can tell you that much. And the Russian, uh, the German Cavalry unit here uh, is unable to um, retreat, or, uh, retreat before combat because I am using this... Uh, uh, the Russian cal uh, 14th Cavalry Division to make sure they don't. Um, I want to get rid of this right away so we can deal with this later on. The other thing I did mention, I think, before, hold on, I I'm going to just go straight to the, uh, the yeah, this picture. So I, I think I did mention before that I wanted to have uh, the 9th Army start uh, start uh, taking over parts of the 4th Army here and then the 4th Army was going to start going up to here, and then the 2nd Army was going to, they would link up that way. The, this is going to, that would take a hell of a long time, because of these zones of control. Like I said, going in and out, in and out. Now that when I see this, I'm starting to clue in that maybe it's probably a smarter idea, and the 9th Army for uh, headquarters, for Christ's sakes, is right there, Lechitsky, and the 9th Army is right there in Lublin. Why not get them to actually, they're already here anyways. So why not just get them to do this, uh-huh, and they'll do like this bit, second army does that bit, and then let's go back to the, oops, Jesus Murphy, wrong button, uh, let's, and then uh, the fourth army will deal with where they're at, where they're at, anyways. In other words, I'm, I'm kind of you know being a little bit more efficient. I'm hoping we'll see what happens. Anyways, let's go back to uh, who's there, uh, who's on first, and all that stuff. So I'll get back to the close-up camera a bit, and we'll uh, quickly go in into it. So I'll show you because here we go. So number thirty-four here is uh, the Priobrazans, Brihobra. Zensky Lead Guard Regiment, sorry, uh, I'll uh, maybe pop them in later on. Uh, they're originally from the 1st Brigade of the 1st Guards Infantry Division, and uh, I did my cheeky little divisional breakdown way back when, so I had to go and look it up on Wikipedia, who the heck the 1st Guards Infantry Division were, and, you know, write that all down. But I love doing that stuff, so I'm in heaven. Okay, uh, number 36 up here. That's the Ismailovsky Lead Guard Regiment, and they're one strength point. These guys are two. So we got three here. All of this is going to be unsupplied, except for this cavalry member, because now this Russian cavalry, the 14th Infantry Division, has to start um, doing a trace a line of supply. Well, they can. Not to here, I would say, be, because. Uh, yeah, well, I guess, yeah, because it's an active rail line, but that's not their headquarters. It is a, uh, it is a headquarters, so it does have supply, so I guess I could say that, yeah. But I was looking at it this way. I still have, I still have a nice little, you know what I mean? I, I got out of their zones of control. Well, that's right. It doesn't matter about the zones of control. But anyways, I'm like, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're good here. Uh, seven, eight even. Sorry, yeah, because that's a headquarters. But that's an active railway. 
But anyways, we're good. This guy's not good, and we're going to talk about that yet again. So the ninth, uh, the German 9th Cavalry Division is a regular two strength points. They're at two strength points. They're no longer at two strength points. Uh, I'm doing it so that way, yes, they were in supply at the beginning of the turn. They no longer are now. So they're uh, going to be dropped down to one strength point when they, uh, we start figuring out their counterattack potential. And they're going to go in unsupplied counterattack, which means they are not going to have their counterattack tripled. It's going to be doubled, not tripled. Um, and they may be forced to retreat. So this will be fascinating because uh, they may be eliminated. Uh, well, well, this is the whole point of doing this. And if uh, the Russians play their cards right, they may not lose uh, the... Um, uh, is that the, the, the 14th infantry, infantry Division? Ironically, and it is not, it's just the way it is. I'm wearing my I Love t uh, Cavalry t shirt today. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this is, well, we'll see what happens. So, that, uh, so anyways, who else is there? Uh, 64 over here, that's the 7th Infantry Division, and they have three strength points. And these guys have one. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, all of it's unsupplied. Um, also, um, this guy here, uh, oh yeah, we are doing the camera, good. Um, the uh, German 9th Ca Cavalry Division is defending across woods. So that's going to be minus two to uh, the attacker's die roll and plus one to theirs. Um, so like I said, unsupplied, so that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, Plus one is four, so at uh, four, um, four attacking strength points uh, with a minus two to the die roll, and you darn right I'm using the doubler and all that crazy nonsense. So let's go over to the die uh, the doubler and all that crazy nonsense. Now let's see if I can do that thing majig there. That's pretty interesting, and I'm still I'm not using. Remember I, I can't use the two cameras at once bit because I'm only using the camera angle, but I think this is not too bad, eh? You guys can kind of, uh, maybe next time I'll do a close-up shot, like of whatever, but that's not too bad, I think, so far. At least we know what we're kind of looking at. Um, and I can always get bigger. Oh, I wonder if I can do something crazy like this. Ooh, cool. Thank you, man. Yeah, I can, I can deal with that. All right. Like I said, I'm, I've got to learn here. So let's take a look and see what the combat results and all that stuff and see what uh, the Russians need to do to start doing that crazy doubler and whatnot. Yeah, I gotta remember everything's backwards. <laughs> um, so, we're at four. Hold on, it's really weird because I'm doing it backwards here. Um, so that's pretty bad. So you know what, we're just gonna just crank her up. Here we go. Um, first thing we're going to go for is the doubler. So as long as the Russians don't get a two, they're good. It's an eight. All right, hold on, let me write this down, so, because uh, I'll invariably forget. Oh, where's my pencil? Where are you, pencil? I don't know. Oh, here you are. Okay, so that's, um... DRM minus one now. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go for the sock. I don't know why, but hmm. Let's see what happens. Come on, man. Come on. It's been just such a string of crazy luck lately. All right. Good. Oh, and I get the choice. I always get the choice. Where do I want to go? Do I want to go to five strength points? You know what? I want to get rid of that. I just, just want to get rid of the DRM for now, and we'll figure that out. So we're going to z DRM is zero. Okay. Now, remember, it's called pushing your luck here. So I could stop, and that's it. We get the DRM of zero. Let's see what I get with the DRM of zero. Remember, I can also force a retreat. I just need one hit. And I think it's bye-bye for the cavalry then. <coughs> okay. Well, of course, next time, you know what I'm going to do? 
Oh, the silly buttons. I can, um, I could probably even do it now. Uh, I'll put, I'll pop on, um, uh, an actual shot of the freaking CRT so we don't have to do this nonsense. Hold on. It may just take a bit of time here. Um, and where would you be, you silly bugger? Sterling Standard. And we go right down to the end. Hey. Where's the other bit? What the hell? This is bizarre. Must be on something else. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked, so screw it. Okay, so I'm going to need... A four or higher to do a uh, one hit. Hmm. If I go to a five, I need a three or higher. Hmm. You know what? What should I do? 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 Sorry, guys. I, if it's upside down, it's I've got to think about things. Ah, oh, darn it. Four or five, eh? Yeah, I'm going to go one more at least with the doubler. So as long as uh, we don't get a two or a four, we're good to go. Come on, man. Oh, my God. I saw it wiggle down, too. You've got to be up and kidding me. Jesus H. Ah, oh, sweet heaven. Sweet heaven. All right. Hold your horses here. I also have to, you know what the thing is? I have to remind myself before this is I have to decide... Uh, what it's going to go for ahead of time before I do this because I screwed up now. Now it shifts to the the uh, the German cavalry's favor. Ah, oh, Christ's sakes! So I'm going to say that I would have went with the um, the actually I would have went with the strength point shift, the column shift. So that means I still get to, I'm still attacking, but later on, I just have to make sure I write this down. So the German um, 9th Cavalry, here I'll switch over to the, for now. See, it's freaking out here. There we go. At least it brought, gave us to that one. So the, the German 9th Cavalry is going to get plus three to their die roll because they they get a natural plus one for the woods and they now get the plus two bonus that the Russians did have in their favor and then screwed up. Plus they'll get a plus one on their uh, counter-attacking uh, available strength points and that's uh, put in after I don't uh, start doing the triply you know like holy smokes come on so there we go. All right. Like, you know what I mean? It's for the final die roll bit is what I'm trying to say. It's all right. So here we go with the shift. I'll go back to the die roll thing. Jesus, AJ. Ah, oh, it just sucks. Oh, well, it's the way it goes. All right. Let's get rid of that god awful thing. I don't know, I should call it, uh, it's like the freaking die roll of death, man. It's just, just does not work. Okay. So here we go. A two. I don't know if I can tell you, it's going to do sweet peel. So it's my, uh, a two with a minus two on a four. So it's a zero. Uh, no hits. The German cavalry are not required to retreat. <clears throat> oh my god, this is so weird. I thought for sure they were just going to vanish. Um, and they're not. Okay, so that's... Uh, what did I say here? Let's go back to the German cavalry. So that was uh, one strength point, unsupplied. So that'll be... Uh, but they... Um, so it'll be doubled. And so it's two strength, two counter-attacking strength points shifted over so they get three counter-attacking strength points with a plus three to their die roll. All right? 
Does that make sense to you? I hope so. And it's a two. And you know what? I think the Russian cavalry is about to vanish. So, what do we got here? So, hold on. So we said it was a three. A third, oh, sorry, a third. Yeah, why am I looking at the goddamn screen? Just look at the piece of paper, you idiot. So, three, and I said, what did they roll? A two. Two, three, four, five. Wow. So that it's a zero. So that was a, a, a no good for everyone, but um, scary business, man. I hope I did that right. I think so. I'll uh, pop this back and we'll see if the camera has a conniption fit again. Probably will. Um, Try it one more time. Sometimes it does kick it in. Otherwise, I'll just pop it in onto the, my, my uh, whatever thing. Yeah, look. It's not happy. It's not a happy camper. No. Okay. So, what I'll do is just um, get back to the picture here. So, yeah. So, there we go. My next bit now is, like I said, I'm going to try to shift focus, get the Ninth Army to start dealing with this bit which may, makes more sense. And the 4th Army will do this bit. and So yeah, so it'll be 9th Army this way, 4th Army that way, and the 2nd Army will deal with this bit. And yeah, so now I just got these moves to do. Oh man, this has just been a rough, rough uh, beginning of the month for Russia, I'll tell you that much. Anyways, I hope this went well, and well, I'll find out in a minute, and uh, have a good one. See you later.